Hello guys, so you want to build a vehicle? Uh, I'm gonna teach you today how to build a vehicle with, with some dandy suspension. Now, get a base plate. Any base plate will do. Just uh, as long as it looks nice for you. I will pick this one. Just kidding, this one. Just kidding, this one. Right, we are good. Now, pick your position alignment tool. Now, right click. Reload. R key, in my case. Rotation get angles. 90. Identity, right click. Just set this a little bit higher. Okay, that's good. Want a wheel, because cars have wheels, right? Transportation. Pick any wheel. I'll pick this one. Yes. This is tool. Move it. Pick this point in space of time. And put it into this point. Maybe here. Oh no, I have wrote it. Now, that's good. Looks good, right? Now, position alignment. Hit pause with plane and hit normal. Here, just kidding. In the center of the prop, on top of the prop. Hit normal. Left click in the front. Right click, reload. Rotation functions. Mirror across plane. Plane 1. Shift left click. On the road identity button. Now you have this. Press left click on this side. Or this side, doesn't matter. Reload. Shift left click. Shift. Right click. Right click. Right click. Rotation. Get angles. 90. Road identity. Shift right click. Shift right click. Shift right click. Now, precision alignment, mass center, left click, and to add another point, by default it will reset the position of the point you have uh, declared, so to add another point, just press shift and left click, this creates two points, and hit pause, in the center of the side of the prop, left click, right click, C, this brings up, brings up the context menu, very useful. Now we have set 1, 2 in here and 3, 4 in here, so we want to set 0.2 parented to the prop of the base plate, and 4 as well. We reposition constraints, so we have 1, 2 here and 3, 4 in here. But, before we go into any roping and elasticizing, you want to use Make Spherical Tool, left click on each wheel. <laughs> this will make the driving very smooth. Precision Alignment Tool. Mm, reload. Rope. We have one. Uh, five, six. One. It must be rigid, alright? Must be rigid. 1, 5 and 6. Now this has created this thing, which allows the wheel to move uh, up and down. Around this axis of 5 and 6. Now the same with the other wheel. Very simple. Uh, 3, 6 and 5. See? Very nice. Elastic between 1 and 2 because 1 and 2 is in here and 3 and 4 is in here. 3 and 4. Wait, no collide them. Now you have suspension. But the wheels move so rapidly. We will solve that problem later, alright? Now the rear wheels. No collide tool, where is my no collide tool? Left click, very simple. Advanced application, unfreeze. There you have it, you have suspension. Nice and easy. 
Now for the steering and the wheels. I have created a steering wheel uh, code in wire mode expression 2. Put it on the ground. Get your wire tool. You can find the wire tool in the tools tab. Wire. Oh no, it's wrong code. Oh no. Oh no, it's the wrong code. What do I do? I get the right code. Steer pure. Yes. Now it's a lot easier. A. D. Base plate. Base plate is important. Port control. Left click. Uh, seat. Right click. Right click. Holy shit, just touched it. Fuck. Okay, we can solve this uh, easily because all the other things are already done. Rotation get angles 90. Now it's all good because we need to pulse socket only now. These settings x minimum 100 minus 80, x maximum 180, others 0.1 with corresponding uh, fingers. fingers. Alright. Uh, for the front, I will choose this. Left click, left click twice, left click, left click, left click twice, left click. Same uh, for the rear wheels, you want to ball socket them to the base plate of the vehicle. Now, this should all be fine and dandy until you need A in A, B, D. Speed? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm gonna skip for this tutorial. For the movement of the car, I will choose a thruster. Put it in the center of the rear. And to make the thruster go forward back, I will choose gates. Because we don't need another E2 for this. Arithmetic, add this one and then negate. Because it turns the value to minus one. Now, this has to be S, the negate must have an output of S, and this can be just, uh, fuck, I can't scroll, no. W, set this A to W, and this B to this output of the negate, now I will show you why. If you press, no, just kidding. I haven't wired it to the thruster yet. Now, input is the output of the added values. If you press S, it goes that way. If you press W, it pushes this way. Very simple, right? That's what negate can do. If you press S, it will give out an output of 1 on S. And if you press W, it uh, gives an output of 1 on W. But you need to negate the value for the thruster to understand. Very simple, right? Now you can weld this thing over here. And uh, duplicate. What else is there? There you have it, your own, very own car. Turns and stuff. Oops. I hope you uh, yeah, enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. It's very easy, very nice. Yeah, please, uh, please uh, like or uh, question in comments. Questions are always nice if you don't understand. So yeah, that's 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 about. Uh, thanks for watching. Idiots. <laughs>